Hey, this definitely is Jonas from the Maxon Training Team and in this Cinema 4D quick tip I want to show you how you can add random colors to your MoGraph clones. And by saying that I mean in the correct way, because usually when you add MoGraph colors using an effector they are way too dark. And I want to show you why that happens and how you can solve the situation. So here I have a random effector that is just affecting the position. So if I select it you can see that I'm only affecting the position Y with it by 20 centimeters. But what does that actually mean when it comes to the random effector? It means that every clone is allowed to move 20 centimeters upwards, like this one here, but also 20 centimeters downwards, like this one. So the actual range is not 20 centimeters, but 40. If you go to the effector tab, and unfold the min max here, you can see that the maximum is set to 100% and the minimum to minus 100%. So if I set the minimum to zero instead, you can see that I get randomness from Y zero to Y 20 instead of the range where some clones are allowed to go down. And usually when you add color, it's the same thing that happens. So let's bring this back and maybe let me also add a new random effector here and instead of affecting the position I just set the color mode to effector color. And now let me also deactivate the random transform effector and now you can see that these colors here are pretty dark. And the reason for that is because in the effector tab the min and max are set to minus 100% to plus 100%. But if you think of color as data then 100% would be white and 0% would be black. And because the minimum is at minus 100%, we are shifting the range of these colors towards a very dark area. So if I bring the minimum up to zero, you can see that the colors are way brighter and now suddenly everything looks way more friendly. So let me reactivate the random transform again and maybe let's rename this to random color. It's always good to rename your stuff. And let me talk about how you can assign these colors now to a material. I prepared two materials, one for standard and physical renderers. And what you would do here is you would just add a shader and this shader can be found in the MoGraph category and it's the color shader. Once you have this color shader applied, then you can assign the material to the cloner and it will show you these random colors. Now let me also add this redshift material and right now the color is not assigned as you can see but if I double click the material this will bring up the node editor and there is one node that we need that can read the MoGraph colors and I simply double click to bring up the nodes browser and then I search for color user data because this is the node that we need and I just edit and if I solo it you can see that everything is going to go black because the default color is set to black but here under presets we can find MoGraph and color so this is assigned now and as you can see the colors have been assigned here in the viewport in the material as well so let me connect this node to the base color of the RS standard node and just unsolo it and now we can render this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, and subscribe.